Hello and welcome to my first tutorial for 2019. This first video I'm going over dynamic skills. A lot of games have predefined skills that allow you to level up, progress your character, and gradually get better at those skills, but they're always tightly constrained to what the developer had in mind at release. And DLC and expansions grow upon these skill sets, but there's no way to really make it dynamic. And the first thing I wanted to do this year is create a dynamic skill tree that allows the user to discover skills, not go to a menu and see exactly what they have to work with as far as skills go. So let's start out by looking at the skill class. What does a skill have? What are its properties that we want to define? Well, I've come up with a few things. First of all, being a skill name, this is something that will be unique that separates it apart from the other skills easily referenceable by the player to know what skill they're actually leveling up and like I mentioned it, it will be a, a kind of an identifier for when they perform certain actions we'll look up the skill and its stats based on the skill name. I created a skill type enum that I'll, I'll go over in the skill manager that's uh, to specify the skill type skill level, current experience, experience to level, and is it discovered. I've set all my fields private, and these private fields I want, I do want to see in the inspector when I'm doing my debugging, so I set the serialized field. Skill name is public because that's how I'm going to look it up. Instead of setting my properties straightly editable from the calling class, I've instead created public methods that allow those classes to be called. I want management of the skills all to be self-contained in their own class so nothing can accidentally get overwritten. So now let's look at the easy part and look at the skill manager. It has one property. It has a list of skills called skills and as long as it's been defined there's no issue but I did add a null check in the start method to new up the list in case it hasn't been initialized. And then I've got a public method called add new skill that accepts a skill parameter and that skill just makes sure that it's not currently added to the list of skills the player knows. If it is, then all I do is increase the skill level by one, which is in the actual skills class. If it doesn't already exist in the skill tree, then I add it. So now that we have our skills classes created, let's see how easy it is to add. To add it to our player and or NPCs if you desire, you just click and drag the skill manager class over and like I said it, by default it's not going to be initialized as a list so let's just go ahead and add one and we look at the properties that we define in our skill class so if we come up with a skill name such as idle master and specify the skill type as passive uh, here we can see the other enum values from our enum in the skill manager Passive social physical combat, those can easily be added to. Skill level, I'm going to default to one. Current experience is zero, and experience to level, if I move that out, will be a hundred and mark it as discovered. And our skill tree has been created. Uh, the next video I go over will be how to set a skill as a trigger. So if you discover something or if you perform an action, and you uh, discover the skill that way, I'll add that dynamically to the list. So thank you for watching. Quick overview of the skill tree system I've created.